it's Malak, and we're gonna look at Gareth Davies' Pen and Ink Volume 5. It's the latest edition of his collections of uh, ink drawings and stuff like that. I think his website is like Spudonkey. Yeah, <laughs> Spudonkey. And you can find him on uh, his different social medias, and portfolio, and email like that. First things first, I gotta say, I'm not sure if he's self-publishing these or making them by hand, or who's doing them, but as you can see, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it's bound to kind of weird. It's a little janky, not, doesn't really sit well, and kind of feels like it's about to fall apart. So that's my first, like, thing I'm kind of sad about. This paper quality is, like, pretty good, though, for a little book. <laughs> he's got a very distinct sort of not just style but also the angles and the texture of his work and uh it's got a, a lot of personality and character in it He's super active on Twitter, always uh, posting, you know, character sheets like this, which are really great. I think he's based in the UK, because I'm pretty sure I had to pay for this one in pounds. Excuse me. I feel like I've been on the verge of getting sick for a little while now. Uh, I don't know what it is. What is his name? Bill Watterson? The guy who does Calvin and Hobbes. Sometimes some of the little things he does remind me of some of the accents that the guy who would do Calvin and Hobbes would do in his illustrations. I'm pretty sure he illustrated those and wrote those, right? I don't know, I should double check on that. We had some Nintendo characters. What the heck? The pages are stuck together, maybe some glue. Cool skulls. That's a really cool dragon. Oh, I wish, I'm not sure, maybe he has worked on video games, but I wish some of the artists like this and other artists who do a lot of like cyberpunk stuff, like they could create just super cool game worlds. I wish indie developers would just pull them aside and be like, you know what, let's get a Kickstarter going. You and me, let's make a beautiful, fun game. I like the little skulls, the cute skulls, not the cool ones he does, they're, they're funny. <laughs> I like this guy a lot. <laughs> I like this one a lot too.
Oh, is that John Wick? I do believe it is. And this is um, ah, Sergio Leone, Clint Eastwood, Good, Bad, and the Ugly. What's the first and second one? Can't remember. Can't even hear the theme song in my head right now. <laughs> the one he did with Pokemon. And some of these, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he did this one in color too. Oh, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. yep, Space Cowboy. Well, I love Garrett Davies' work. I hope some sort of developer comes into contact with him and they create a really amazing video game together. But when it comes to this book, um, I'd say I'm not sure what the shipping situation is for people outside of the UK or inside of the, well, inside the UK. Because when I bought this, besides the uh, exchange of currency, plus the pretty big amount of shipping, it came to like $45, I think. Which is a bit much for a book. I mean, the content is great, but it's just kind of sloppily made. And there's also glue spills on the inside. So yeah, the construction of this book is not fantastic. And if you're in the UK and you don't have to worry about shipping or exchanging the pound and it's like, what, 18 to 22 pounds, I'd say that's fine. But if you're trying to get this internationally, $45 is kind of a lot for this book. Um, it's not his fault. It's really hard to ship things out. And um, I'm not sure what his operation is like. Creating your own book is not easy. And getting your book published is not easy. So it's no critique of the artist at all, I'm just saying, um, I really want to get the other four, but I don't know if I will for $45 each, uh, we'll see what I do, but I love this artist, go support him on his social media and follow him, if you liked the video, feel free to subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in some of my other videos, take care. You're